Good morning, Connections. Thanks for being here. This week, we are pursuing wisdom. The wisdom that Eve and Adam failed to employ. Godly wisdom that is there to guide us into right choices instead of wrong choices. Positive consequences instead of a laundry list of, of poor consequences by bad choices. So we're still in chapter one of, of Proverbs and Solomon is going to use a, a clever tool. It's called personification and it's to take a word and turn it into a person with emotions and passion truly is the voice of God because we are, are referencing whenever we are speaking about the right wisdom, we're speaking of godly wisdom. We are speaking of, of the guidance that God provides. But it's powerful when Solomon uses it in this way to demonstrate the passion that comes behind the what is extended to us by God's grace to listen to godly counsel and respond with yes, Lord, instead of worldly counsel and giving into our own desires and turning the volume down on everything that God is trying to speak into our lives, ignoring those boundaries that we continue to talk about, choosing to, to flirt with those boundaries and, and give in to temptation. So let's pick up the story here in Proverbs 1, 20. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered, so I will laugh when you are in trouble, I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. Our pursuit of wisdom, as we continue to emphasize, isn't about just helping us make right choices so that we live a life that, of, of the promised peace that God offers and find joy. We have a much larger responsibility to demonstrate lives transform for others, as we spoke of being the light last week. It's time for us to wake up and recognize that we have a responsibility to the people that God is desiring to reach, and we have a responsibility to God himself. We can't continue to just engage in the things of the world, ignoring God's call on our life. We can't continue to make poor choices expecting God to pick up the pieces every time. We are being called to a level of maturity. We are being called to live as God has called us to live. But there will come a time when those who have turned down the volume on God's wisdom, those who have chosen not to pay attention to God's outstretched hand, will no longer be able to receive what God has for him. I pray that that's not today. I pray that you join me in the hope that it's not too late. That if we get our lives aligned with God's heart, if we choose to live in godly wisdom, making right choice after right choice, that those that are still within reach of God's grace will hear or see and respond. 
God's passion for the lost is more than we can comprehend. He is willing to extend himself and be mocked and be, be made a fool for the sake of those that he desires to see come. But these last lines also remind us there will be a time when judgment comes and the opportunity to, to receive and hold on, hold on to God's extended hand will no longer be an option. I pray and I ask you to join me once again in praying that we are given at least one more day to live a life that draws just one more in. Remind ourselves regularly that we have a responsibility to God and to all those that can be reached. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for, for, the, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the passion that, that pours from the pages. We thank you, Lord, that, that you have set all of this before us. You don't hide from us. You don't charge us to figure all this out on our own. You are there every step of the way. Risking heartache and tears for those that refuse to hear you. Lord, help us to hear you more clearly today. Help us to no longer sit on the sidelines waiting for others to, to join the fight. Help us to recognize that the fight is here and you are calling us to engage. Help us to do it well today for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're going to continue to pursue wisdom again tomorrow. Stay safe today. We've got lots of, of thunderstorms brewing out there. Um, not certain exactly what we're going to do church side. I plan on being open Transportation may be limited, but if you need a, a, a place to hunker down uh, this morning, uh, my plan is to have the doors open. Please know that I love you and I miss you. Looking forward to seeing you very soon. Until then, be good. <laughs>